The last time I made a video talking about how modders are saving dying light too, I mentioned something about how modders one day might create the whole Elysium in the game. Turns out we are one step closer to that. Hey everyone, welcome back to the part two of modders saving dying light too. But this video is gonna be a bit different as I would be showing you the mods that basically make this game way better and fun. Starting with the first and most awaited mod made by Bub, the Metro mod. Yeah, you can now ride a Metro in dying light too. My mind was literally blown away when I saw this because this feature does not exist in the game and this is actually an original work by Bub meaning it's not a cut content or any leftover work by Techland. Bub did all the work. So basically you can head to the fisheye where you got these tracks for the metro and there you will find a button to bring the metro. So do that and wait for the metro to arrive then jump on the metro and press the forward button and enjoy the ride. The distance it travels is quite big and it can travel forward as well as backwards and it keeps going until the tracks are over. So from fisheye it will take you close to VNC tower and then also near the PK ship. Also a great news for everyone watching this video, this mod is officially going live right now. Yes the moment you see this video the mod will be available on Nexus mods. So you can download and enjoy this beautiful mod right now. Being honest I love shooting zombies while being on the metro, you can basically travel like climbing on top of the metro or just sit inside and enjoy the view. But did you really think that was the only mod made by Bub today? No sir, Bub made another mod that lets you basically travel on top of the blimp. Yes, check this out. Now hold on, hold on. You might be thinking, where will the blimp take me? And is there a way I can select the route for it? Well, I've got something special for you. Be ready. So you basically come near this place which will be around the VNC tower and just come here and on top of the building you will have this map with a few locations marked. So you can basically take the blimp to the VNC tower Or to the bazaar. Or maybe you want to go to the newfound lost lands. Or maybe you want to go to the peacekeeper castle. You know what? Fuck all of that. Let's go to one of the most iconic structures from E3 2018, a building from Elysium known as the Black Market. Yes, I'm not kidding. Just press the button here that says Triumphal Arc and head over here and wait until you see the blimp below you. Now jump on it and stand still and keep enjoying the view until it takes you to the Elysium's Black Market. Now just enjoy. Welcome to the black market from E3 2018 demo.
you can roam around the area or climb the black market and even enter inside this. Inside this you will find a safe house and there are many rooms and a bar where you will find new people. It's honestly just amazing. You can also see this horse statue we saw back in E3 2018 demo. And this is an amazing work done by Bub. So Bub, you are just awesome. Thank you for making this mod. We surely never got to try Elysium, but looks like it's a step in the right direction. Also everyone, you can download this mod on Nexus Mods. Yes, it's available right now. Use the link in the description to download this airship mod as well as the Metro mod I showed you earlier. Now let's move on to another mod. This mod is made for the hardcore players who find Dying Light 2 very easy in its current state. This mod is made by Ahmed Ibrahim, the same guy who made the City of Carolina custom map for Dying Light. So basically he's back with a mod called Hardcore Immersive Realism Mod. This mod basically changes the gameplay mechanics in total. It modifies existing mechanics to create a more realistic and challenging experience. So now you will basically have limited immunity which also decreases during the daytime. And yes, even inside the sun, your immunity goes down. Now that's not a big change. The big change here is with the stamina. So now the stamina system has been modified so that the players must now manage their hunger and their need to rest. Don't worry you will be able to climb and fight for a long time without getting exhausted. But eventually you will start losing your stamina and it will not regenerate. So in order to refill your stamina bar, you will need to rest in the safe zone. Now since you will be losing your stamina quite often, you can actually slow down that process. So you can go around and look for food. Yes, there are food around the world that you will gather and consume. Consuming these foods will make sure you don't lose the stamina that quick. After consuming it, you basically lose the stamina slowly. So inside the fridges or backpack, you can basically find rice and canned food that you can consume. The same thing can actually be said for the immunity. Your immunity will keep going down and to slow down that process you will need to consume immunity boosters. Also the only way to restore your immunity is by resting. Now there are a few more changes like that. Like for example your health no longer regenerates and you will need to use your medikit quite often to get back your health. Next you have a very less HUD on the screen and your survival sense is also disabled. In fact if you think you can stack many items and be fine for days well you can't do that. You can only store limited items with you. Now finally there are a few more changes that makes the game more hard and realistic. One can truly experience this mod when he tries it for themselves. The mod really pushes you to your limit. This mod is currently in alpha testing and it will be available very soon with maybe some other changes. So keep an eye out for this mod as it will be uploaded on Nexus mods and don't worry I will keep you guys updated on this mod progress. Thanks to Ahmed for letting me try this mod early and I truly can't wait for others to try out this mod. Now moving on to the next mod. So this mod is for everyone who's played Dying light and loved the minimal UI design of Dying Light. So if you like the herd of Dying Light then you can actually get the same herd for Dying Light too. Check this out. <laughs> Now moving on to the next mod which is a cut content and it's called the personal stats. This stats menu was removed from the game for some reason and honestly I don't know why. But basically if you want to track how much you have traveled, how much zombies you have killed or maybe how many times you have died then you can download this personal mod made by Bud. The link will be in the description. Basically after installing this mod you can open this menu from the hints section. Now you might notice something. The numbers here are kind of off. So basically everything you do will be recorded right after installing this mod. Also remember it won't show you anything you have done before installing this mod. Hope that makes sense. Anyways, install it and keep a record of how many infected you have slayed. Now moving on to the next and the final mod. This mod basically improves the ragdoll physics in Dying Light 2. Check this out. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>
Now a kick to the zombie or a human would simply knock them off. Sliding and hitting a zombie would also make them fall off their feet but in a different and more realistic way. The zombies now fall when near a corner or a bridge or a cliff. Also if you bump into someone that person or zombie would simply stumble and fall. These are just few of the many changes done by this ragdoll mod. So if you don't like the ragdoll physics of Dying Light 2 then you can definitely try out this mod. So guys this is it for this video. There are many mods out there which improves the game quality or brings in the cut content but obviously we can't show all of that in one video. So this was the end of part 2 of modders trying to save Dying Light 2. Also if you have created a Dying Light 2 mod then let me know in the comment section or try to contact me on discord or twitter. We will definitely showcase a mod in the next video. So keep an eye out for the part 3 coming in September. Also I have many great news coming on this channel for you all. So till then stay safe and stay human. Also be ready and guess which E3 cut content we will be bringing in the next video. Till then take care and thank you everyone.